Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of April. These are your messages from Spirit. Um, I have drawn three cards, three messages, and each one is uh, represented by a crystal. So card number one is a rose quartz. Card number two is a uh, citron. And card number three is being represented by um, pyrite or what is known as fool's gold. Uh, so you can just pause the video and um, choose the crystal or the card that you are drawn to the most. If you're drawn to two, then that's fine also. And then simply come back and hear the message or messages. So let's begin. Card number one, we have a rose quartz. Okay, so this is clock time. So um, this is about time, pressure, being in a rush. You could be in a time of stress. You may have added workload or increasing problems, responsibilities. Um, it could be simply that you might, uh, you might feel uh, that it's too late to pursue your dreams. This could make you feel frustrated. Um, you could have too many tasks. Uh, you may have difficulty to say no. Um, there could also be an urge to rush through things with this card. Um, it could also be telling you that it is time for one last push, like don't give up, one last push. Um, for other people, this will be about um, procrastination, uh, avoidance, giving up on one's dreams, um, maybe not seeing any progress, and so you just feel like giving up. You may be sitting still or not taking action when action is exactly what is needed. So <clears throat> this is about time and pressure um, we all, all of us, you know, we either have watches or clocks, all of which tick uh, and tick to mark the passing of every second. So there are times, of course, when you need to move quickly, you know, when you have appointments or a deadline or important responsibility that needs to be completed. When you are am, uh, amidst such activities, you may be consumed with them. You could be feeling anxious, um, hurried, rushed. It may seem that you need to move faster than other people need to, to accomplish your tasks. Um, this can lead to stressful uh, moments. Um, it can make you feel like you're less capable in this type of energy than when you are actually focused, calm, and clear. Um, even though it's true that you must meet a deadline. Um, this card is telling you that you need to take a moment to just slow down. Slow down so that you can attend to your responsibilities. It's like you're in the midst of a whirlwind and you need to be the calm, the eye of the storm. Um, put, put to rest 
that urge you might have to worry or to fret or to rush until your work is done, and the need to impress those you wish to please. This card is saying that you need to stop and smell the roses, to take the time to watch a sunrise or a sunset. You will find that you actually get your work done faster than if you hurried, got caught up in worry, you get caught up in worry, you overlook things, you find yourself having to redo things. It's not faster. It actually slows you down. Pull back. Stay calm. Have a plan and stick to it. And remember to stop and smell the roses along the way. And all will be well. So that is for those who chose the rose quartz. Now for those who chose the citron. You actually have two cards. You have painting the roses red and nonsense. So what I feel this is about, I feel that you could have made a mistake or maybe someone else could have made a mistake. Um, uh, you may be trying to cover up an error or someone else may be trying to cover up an error. And I feel like uh, there's another, there's, there's this person who you may have to face or you see somebody else is having to face. I mean, you could be standing up for yourself or standing up for someone else, I feel. Um, you see, uh, like Alice, as this is uh, Wonderland, you may surprise yourself in this case here with your courage. Someone around you may be being or will be aggressive and somewhat threatening whether this is to you or towards you or towards someone else that's close to you or in, in, within your environment, you will need to stand up to this person and speak to them in a very firm and strong manner. Okay? Um, much as Alice does to this queen who is overly fond of abusing her power. So this could be somebody who is uh, in power, uh, in power over you, like a work situation possibly, or someone that you may have given your power over to, or who has taken this position. And you may be uh, taking this back. Now, um, this is somebody who's going to be distributing very bad behavior. If this is taking place with a person or situation within your life, you need to call that someone out on their bad behavior. You don't need to say much or criticize the person, um, argue with them, or even point out what they are doing. You simply need to be firm, clear, and direct, and cut through the nonsense that is taking place. You may actually take this person by surprise. Um, and if you're standing up for someone else, they will be very grateful for this. And in time, they too will stand up for themselves. It's kind of like um, leading by example. And so, you know, even, even though you may not be as powerful as this other person or sit in a, 
a, as powerful position if this is someone at work who is uh, in a position that's above yours. Um, your inner courage, when expressed, makes you an amazing person who can actually change the world with this simple refusal to tolerate bad behavior for one moment longer. I feel like this has something, this is something that has been going on for some time, whether this is in a personal relationship and your partner has been uh, like this, overbearing, aggressive, um, controlling, or whether this is a work situation. Standing up for yourself courageously when someone is behaving in a way that is completely unfair. You know, and if, you know, if somebody did make an error, well, we all make mistakes. We are all human. And maybe this person is uncompromising, unwilling to understand this. So this is courageously standing up for yourself when someone is behaving in a way that is unfair. Pointing out this person's bad behavior, not backing down on the truth. This is about looking someone in the eye and being very brave, strong, and no longer allowing this person to intimidate, intimidate you. You may have backed down from this person on several uh, previous occasions, but it's like it reaches the breaking point where one can uh, take no more. So that is for those who chose the citron. For those who chose the pyrite or the fool's gold, we have never jam today. Well, um, this card has appeared perhaps because uh, someone's words may be plentiful, but their deeds are few. Um, being attracted by promises of good times and abundance that may never be kept. Um, this card advises not to buy what they're selling. It could be that you reach a point where you're going to see that, well, there's never jam today, right? Um, so uh, the White Queen in Wonderland, uh, in Alice in Wonderland, uh, she makes her outrageous statement that jam is for tomorrow and for yesterday, but never for today. So Alice realizes, you know, with that statement that no one is ever going to get any jam. When it comes, you know, when this card comes to you, well, what can it mean? Well, it is likely that someone is making promises that sound like there is plenty on offer when in fact it is extremely unlikely that they will ever deliver and come through with all the wonderful things they are attracting you with. You see, when this card comes, someone is claiming they can do a lot of good for you, but whether they are offering a pay rise, a good time, uh, or a commitment, it is never to be. The promise is never ever delivered or enjoyed today. They exist on promises of a better future and uh, the memories of a wonderful past, but they will never make good on the promises when it most counts. And that is now, today. Fortunately for Alice, she is not at all attracted by the offerings of the White Queen. She literally does not want the jam, so she cannot be manipulated. But those who do want the jam could be forever living in the hope that one day they'll get it. You know, 
The fact is, this will never, ever happen. Listen to the person making you some rather wonderful promises or boasting about how much they can offer others. When will they deliver? Are they always talking about the past and planning for a wonderful future, but struggling in the present? If so, it is best to be like Alice and have no desire for promises which will never be fulfilled. That is for those who have chosen card number three. I hope these messages have been helpful. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in uh, a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.